going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, and I have an email question today, and this one was sent in by Johan, and he's asking about push-ups. He says, I want to be able to do more push-ups. I've been training for 10 years, mostly with weights, and therefore I'm not good at doing push-ups. Uh, my personal best is 35 strict push-ups, but I need to be able to do at least 50 strict push-ups for a job application that, I'm, that I want. Uh, it says, I'm in fairly good condition. I train five to six days a week with weights and cardio. Uh, my problem seems to be that my body's preferred repetition range is between five and 10 reps. And when I do a max number of push-ups, my muscles get pumped and it's game over. It says, I've tried different programs that I found on the internet, uh, but I struggle to follow the numbers after a few weeks. Uh, if you have any kind of program that you can make for me, uh, I'm more than happy to pay for it. I acknowledge that this is your job and you can't live from giving away free advice to people from all over the world. All the best, Johan. Well, Johan, uh, I am going to give you a free push-up program right here on this video. You don't have to pay a cent for it. Um, what I recommend you do, uh, first off, before I actually get into the specifics of the, the push-up program that I'm going to recommend for you, uh, if you can do 35 push-ups now and your goal is 50, you are very close to reaching your goal. I mean, that is very realistic, very attainable, and attainable in a relatively short period of time. I mean, you should be able to get up to that within a couple months of training or even less. So uh, you are close to your goal. So that's, that's a good sign right there. Uh, first off, the best way to get better at doing push-ups is to simply do more push-ups. And how I want you to do these is do them as add-on workouts. So instead of thinking that you can only do them, say like, you know, once a week on chest day, like Monday, day one, chest day, and then think you can throw in the push-ups with your chest workouts or something like that, uh, think of doing push-ups on a regular, ongoing basis. This is something that you can do at home in your spare time, and the more frequently you do them, the better you're going to get at them. And the trick to doing push-ups frequently and to not overtrain by doing these frequent push-up workouts is stopping yourself short of failure. I don't want you to hit the floor and you know do a max number of push-ups and, and train to failure. I mean, if you do that, then yeah, you're going to get a crazy pump in the chest and you're going to feel fatigued and exhausted and you're literally going to be breaking down the muscles because you're training yourself to your absolute limit. You're training yourself to muscular failure. Uh, I, I don't want you to do that. Now, I mean, there's advantages to training to failure, of course. I'm not going to get into that, but I'm talking specifically on improving your push-ups, improving the, the volume and the repetitions that you can do. What I want you to do instead is multiple sets stopping short of failure. So instead of repping out and doing 35 reps to failure, uh, let's focus on doing multiple sets stopping short of that. You know, do sets of 10 reps, do sets of 15 reps, and multiple sets. So uh, for example, like your goal is to do 50 push-ups, well let's start off doing five sets of 10. So you're doing the 50 push-ups, but you're breaking it up. You're doing five sets of 10, and that should be very achievable for, for you. I mean, that should be an actually, a, that should be an easy workout to bang up five sets of 10. So how you do it, hit the floor, 10, 10 push-ups, uh, rest a minute or two, 10 more push-ups, rest a minute or two, 10 more, and until you get your 50 total push-ups. Uh, and, and do that on a regular basis. Do it on a, on a daily basis at home in your spare time. And then what I want you to do is work on increasing the number of reps per set while still staying uh, within your comfort zone, so to speak. Still staying within uh, s stopping your sets short of failure. So when five sets of 10 becomes easy, let's try to do five sets of 15. I mean, that's, that's a very realistic jump, especially if, if your current max is 35 push-ups. Uh, five sets of 15 shouldn't be that challenging because you're still stopping well before failure. Uh, when that becomes easy, then let's try five sets of 20, you know, and, and that's a, a good benchmark to get up to, you know, five sets of 20 or 100 total push-ups. Uh, that's a good benchmark. And, and by the time you're doing that on a daily basis, you know, 100 total push-ups, meaning 100 total repetitions, not 100 in a single set, but 100 uh, broken up over the course of several sets. Uh, once you're up to that point, 
then I want you to take a few days off from doing push-ups entirely, you know, and, and, and take a few days off from working out. Let your body rest and recover. Uh, if, if you want to do some exercise during this time, you can do some, you know, moderate intensity cardio or something like that. But don't do any strenuous weight training exercise. Let your joints, tendons, and ligaments, and your central nervous system rest up. Then I want you to test your max effort, you know, your max push-ups. So do a little warm-up, you know, warm up your shoulders and, and rotator cuffs and all that, get the blood flowing, and then hit the floor and pump out the push-ups to failure and see what your new max push-ups is. And chances are it's probably going to be higher than 35. You know, I mean, it should be able to do 40 or more. And keep going in this process until you get your max up to 50. And, you know, a, a little trick that you can do as well when you're doing your push-ups, uh, especially as you get to the point of hitting uh, failure, is to do rest pause push-ups. So, for example, when you get to the point, let's say you're, you're up to 30 push-ups and you're starting to struggle a little bit, just lock out your elbows and, and, you know, take a few deep breaths and then bang out, you know, say five more push-ups. And then lock out your elbows, take a few deep breaths, and then bang out a couple more reps. Lock it out, take a few deep breaths, and do this as a rest pause push-up where you actually lock out at the top, take some deep breaths, and then continue on. And this should help to increase the number of push-ups that you can do as well. But uh, bottom line, you need to do multiple sets, stopping short of failure, and build up the total volume of push-ups that you're doing over the course of the week. And when you get to the point where you're doing 100 total push-ups per day, uh, that's kind of a good benchmark. You might want to stick with that and just try and complete those 100 total reps in fewer sets. So let's say you're doing 5 sets of 20 to get your 100 total push-ups. You might want to work on getting that up to say 4 sets of 25 or, you know, three sets of 33 <laughs> and one, <laughs> if you want. And then eventually, you know, just keep building it up until you're banging out the 100 total push-ups in fewer and fewer sets. And that's another great way to increase your push-up volume and continually train in a progressive overload fashion. So uh, hopefully this helps uh, improve your push-up uh, repetitions. And give it a try, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. I'll chat with you down there, and keep me posted with your push-up progress. So, there you go. That concludes the video. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Over and out.